Hey guys, this is just going to be a showcase of a photo book I just made, all shot with the GH5 uh, camera. This uh, camera is just absolutely incredible. Um, not only does it shoot excellent video, it shoots really, um, it's really, really good for photography. Um, and I did a little bit with the GX9, but not enough to give my opinion on it if it's any better than the GH5. It's the same sensor. But um, really the difference is with the ergonomics, obviously, but also with the autofocus. The biggest issue I've had, and this was shooting all boxing um, images, so all sports. Um, so they're all moving, they're all doing you know, their action. All the shots you see in this is very few where they're sitting down, um, wrapping up hands or just sitting there um, uh, in between rounds or at the end of the round. Um all of it was shot in action, and where the GH5 failed was uh, with the autofocus. It's very sluggish, so I got it set on high burst mode. So when you shoot it, it goes, you know, um, I shoot quite a few images, and I can't shoot manual um, focus because, um, I, like I tried, but I, I don't know how you would shoot manual focus on, on, on any sport. It's, it's just too hard to keep keep track and then quickly take a photo so i shot it all in autofocus with um oh, i think it's called face detect Let's see if this thing is this thing coming on just have a look at it so i got it set here on yeah um so uh face and eye detection and that's what i keep it on um and then um high burst mode and i shoot everything manual um for for it as well at the iso usually about 200 i i very rarely kick it up because it's an outdoor gym so that's another advantage and high burst mode but the autofocus is very slow and sluggish for every hit you'll see in this photo book there's several misses just because the autofocus just just is very very sluggish um i heard it's a lot better on the g9 and the gh5 mark ii um so yeah you shouldn't have any problems if you get a more photographic camera a photo uh, primary camera and i can't comment i haven't practiced enough to compare if the gx9 is faster than the gh5 uh, in terms of the autofocus everything in this photo book was shot with the leica 42.5 lens which is the equivalent on a full frame to 85 i love the leica branded lenses i think they really because they're native to Panasonic um, Micro Four Thirds, they really bring out the best of this sensor. So, don't if you have a GH5, um, you might be using it just for video, but don't be afraid of using it for pho photography. I think it's amazing. Where it does fall short is if you're going to do anything fast action, such as sports and wildlife. I think you're going to have a, quite a few misses with the with the autofocus, just because it's it, it is pretty sluggish. Um, but yeah, I just want to show, highlight and emphasize that the GH5 not only is a great, great video camera, it's a phenomenal uh, photography camera as well. So this is um, the book here, and um, I, I did this through Snapfish, so it's pretty cool. Like the theme of it is like it's great. His shirt has the logo, the boxing gym logo. This is the head coach, and um, like I just did a front shot of him. Um, you know, not at the same time, at the same time, obviously, but it's like, you're going to go through, um, his creation, really the, his gym is all from his mind. So this is his world. We're sort of entering all in black and white. So I shot everything in raw and just use Mr. Leica. He has a YouTube channel as well. I just used his preset with a bit of tweaking. This other photo book I did when I went to the Philippines. So my um, mum's side of the family, my dad's side was from Wales. My mum's side is from uh, Negros, um, uh, Philippines. And I absolutely love this place. Uh, if I could go anywhere in the world, it'd be to go here again. And I did this photo book with Snapfish and it had this incredible option to do this silver finish. Um to the pages and at first I didn't like it I felt like it diluted a lot of the um, images but over time uh, it's come like it reminds me of like the silver screen um, old school silver screen um, uh, photo uh, movies where it just has this silver chrome finish um, to the images and unfortunately I did a new book obviously the the book I'm about to show you and it doesn't have this option to have this shield a silver um, uh, finish to the pages uh, which I'm very very disappointed in but I just went ahead with it but I'm still happy with this photo book so this is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters
I'm just push my camera out the way there. And the pages are very, very glossy here, um, and they have they leave a lot of fingerprints already. So I only just got this like a couple of days ago, and already I'm getting fingerprints um, all over the place. Um, yeah, so yeah, absolutely incredible painterly um, images, uh, bokeh here from that a Leica 42.5 mil lens. Just really, really beautiful bokeh, really painterly. You'll hear me use that word a lot, but. Um, it's just absolutely sublime. The um, big thing, a challenge I wanted with this was shooting it all with a prime lens. Oh, she looks great here, Loz. Looks absolutely beautiful here. And it's very uh, glossy, reflective, um, this paper as well, compared to the silver finish on that Philippines book I showed you. Um, the, the big thing here, I didn't want to crop too much. There's only a few photos here that this one would be cropped just because I magnified it heaps. Um, yeah, yeah get this full double-sided page but um the the big thing is i wanted to showcase the full range of the lens so i didn't want to crop too much these are all done most of these are done in two by three uh so the most common printing size uh for a photograph and i didn't want to crop too much because i want i really wanted to showcase the power uh, the beauty of the of the full um of the full sensor and the full um capture of the lens because it renders differently jeez how's that my autofocus on my beautiful iPhone is struggling. <laughs> but I, I just really wanted um, to showcase the full breadth of the lens, the full range of the sensor without cropping in too much um, at all. I think this might be a cropped in um, footage here from memory. Uh, if, sorry, image. But um, yeah, these all, all these guys look very, very beautiful. Very, hardly any girls at this gym. I do have two, I think, all up. Um yeah, it's a cool shot there. But just look at... Oh, that's definitely cropped there. Double size. So this is a big hero double page for the coach. And then um, some really, really cool shots of him. That's probably one of my favorites, that shot there. And this is his sister. Um, she's also an assistant coach at the gym. I've stopped being an assistant coach because my mum is very ill, so I'm looking after her. And I stopped doing the vlogs on... Oh, dear, Mr. Page. So this is like a little bit of a break on just seeing faces all the time punching <laughs> that's a cool shot i don't know who this kid is but that's a pretty cool shot of the kid there and there's Ferdy's sister again with the indigenous flag in the background but um, my mum is uh pretty ill so i've been looking after her and i've got a, a, a main job which i do for the government so i just can't do you know boxing training is very 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 stressful and um i just can't do both uh, at the same time it's um yeah, so I've had to step back, but I still do the social media work, and which is great for me. I don't get paid as much, obviously, just doing the social media work, and I don't charge very much as well doing these images, doing the videos, as you see on this channel, um, for the coach, because it's really good practice for me to get these shots. Like, it's just really good trigger time for me to constantly go there and take these beautiful shots of um, the people and get better and better at camera work, which is what my aim always is in every project that I do. So these images here are cropped in, and these are just beautiful beauty shots of these guys. <laughs> they were just watching the sparring, and I just uh, caught these, and these were heavily cropped in, so these are actually a lot bigger shots, but they look absolutely fantastic anyway. And yeah, um, there's a Apocalypse Now shot for Michael. <laughs> um, and then yeah, ending with that. So I just wanted to highlight this photo book. It's done with Snapfish. I'm happy with the product. Like obviously there are a lot better companies out there that do that render black and white better. Um, this kind of has a, I don't know what to call it. Um, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't seem like black and white. Again, I got this. The reason I went with Snapfish because I thought they would have the silver chrome finish like um like this book here you know that that beautiful silver chrome finish but they don't they don't seem to have that anymore i guess people complained about it because it really diluted anything in color um but for black and white i think it was just absolutely beautiful but it doesn't seem like as black and white as what i've seen on in my lightroom or, or anything like that but i'm still very very happy with this photo book um definitely for the next one if i do another photo book i'll just try out another company just to see what what their what their options are like and this was about a hundred and seventy dollars so it was 160 and uh, actually maybe it was 160 all up including shipping 
um, to my door. And even during shipping, there's a little bit of a chip at the bottom, but I don't care. I'm, I'm very happy with this. What excites me about making photo books is because I do video, mainly my main thing is video. Nothing is really tangible. Um, uh, so it only exists on a YouTube video. You can, like thanks to mobile phones and really um, internet getting better, you can show your work right away just in the palm of your hand with your phone. But again, it's just not as uh, tangible as say a book or a painting. And so just having something printed here that I can just leaf through just really excites me. Just like um, what the same feeling I get in woodwork when I make something in woodwork. Um, you just get that physical, tangible thing and, and it's useful, you know. And this just, you know, it's a coffee table book. You can just have it there. Oh, what's this? And then they can leaf through it. It's it's a really great feeling. So if you've got, again, if you've got a GH5, don't be afraid to go out there and, and just shoot photos with it. It is an absolutely remarkable camera for photography. I personally really like black and white, but it renders colors really, really well. And a lot of people forget that Panasonic have a very close relationship with Leica. And if you don't know the, the brand about Leica, they've been in the camera business for a long, long time. Very sought after brand uh, company, their cameras and their lenses. Um, but they're very, very expensive. But they've got this relationship with uh, Lumix, uh, with Panasonic. I'm assuming Panasonic helped them with the um, uh, the the digital side of things, getting because they, they were a film based, you know, camera company, and then they've transitioned to digital over the last several years uh, with the SL cameras and Q cameras and stuff like that. But people forget that they've got these Leica branded lenses. They're not made in Germany. They're a German company. Uh, they're made in, these versions are made in Japan, but they're very, very good lenses. Um, and they're very affordable. That's the thing. Like this one, I got on eBay for about a grand, um, for brand new, it's about 1600, I think. So pretty expensive lens, but absolutely worth it. Um, the prime lens on this, I, I, and you've seen it firsthand, how painterly the bokeh is, it's just phenomenal. And my other camera, I bought the GX9 to relieve um, the photography duties of the GH5, just because I didn't want to walk around shooting hobby pictures with my main camera that gives me money, which is the GH5. I bought a GX9 and this is much smaller, um, and it can use all the lenses that I've already bought for the GH5 because it's micro four thirds uh, mount. Um, and this is much smaller and I guess much stealthier <laughs> to take photos in. Um, so it's easier to walk around um, with the, the GX9. But I haven't used it enough to comment and compare which is better for photography. I, I really like both, to be honest, except for the, the very poor, um, the, the sluggish autofocus. So again, every hit that you see in this um, photo book, there's like 20 misses, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend um, uh, taking photos of the GH5. And if you can, like this was three months in the making for me of, uh, of nonstop social media work for this um for, for, for this gym and I just collated um, all my favorite images of the three months uh, so from January to March mid-March um, just collated them all together and I was able to make a photo book which is about $160 printed because I, I they charge you more for every page you keep adding and I just had to keep adding pages adding pages because I really like giving and, and making a photo book is really interesting as well it's like a little journey going through a little journey inside and pacing it and where do you, where do you put breaks and, and things like that. Where, um, you know, some of them can be a bit comedic. Um, you know, when he's holding pads, Tony there, and then when he's getting ready, you know, a little bit funny there. Um, yeah, you know, he's laughing, you know, Ryan, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it, t it took me like several hours. Like I, I, on Snapfish, uh, you can go all manual. You don't have to go autofill. I, I, I like to manually place all my photos. Um, so it took me hours, like several hours, hours to make this photo book, upload all the photos, and then choose carefully which ones I want to use, which ones I don't want to use, where do I want to place them, which ones do I, you know, want to expand to two pages. Um, yeah, so it takes some uh, time to uh, to make a photo book. It's it's not an e easy task, but I think it's well worth it if if you want to do it. And I like to give each page its own, you know, each photo its own page, so you can really absorb what's happening in the photo. Because that's the one thing I didn't like of doing um, in this one was that I I just uh, I tried to jam in. Oh, I tried to jam in too many photos. Okay, I'm bad. Like you know what I mean? There's 
just you there's just too much information going on. I like having each page having its separate um photo. And see what I mean about the silver finish diluting a bit of the color photos. Um this is in the Philippines. So the, it's not great for color that silver um finish that Snapfish used to do, but it's really, really great um for black and white, this beautiful chrome finish. Anyway guys, GH five for the win for photos. Don't be afraid of it. It is absolutely sublime.